Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a haul and I've collected a couple of things throughout the month so I've been waiting to film this haul until I got everything. So I finally got everything together so I'm going to just do this haul for you guys and I'm sorry if it sounds kind of echoey in here. It's just because my room doesn't have the best lighting right now. I'm in the bathroom right now because like there's a window right there and it's just really nice lighting and I thought it looked nice so... Yeah, let's just get into the haul. So the first stuff that I'm going to show you is what I got from ColourPop. So the first thing that I got was maybe my favorite thing I got from ColourPop, but it is the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now. And it is just like this really gorgeous kind of brown color with some maroon in it. And I think it's, a nap it's like a super gorgeous color. And I've been wanting something exactly like this, so I'm really excited I got it. And this is just a lippy stick and it's super super like comfortable on your lips like I feel like I'm not wearing anything on my lips I feel like it's just like chapstick or something so it's not drying at all and it's matte and it looks really gorgeous on so I love that so the next thing that I got was a velvet lipstick I haven't tried a velvet lip from Colourpop before so I picked up this one in this is an eco park and I think this is one of their best selling ones because that's the section that I got it off of the website but it's basically just this really beautiful like kind of like a dirty peach color it's really pretty for like everyday use so I was really excited to get my hands on this one it had a lot of great reviews on it so I absolutely love this color for like just like a really simple makeup look so yeah I love that so the next thing that I got was this really deep like maroon color. It's basically the same exact color as my shirt. So this is in Lax and I really wanted like a really deep pigmented dark color like the one I'm wearing right now. Like the, the color of my shirt that I'm wearing right now. So I got my hands on this one and this is like super pigmented and I really love it. It's not too drying but it is drying because it is a matte lipstick but you can't really do anything about it. So it's just like a really beautiful dark kind of like maroon burgundy color that is perfect for like dramatic looks and it's exactly what I was looking for so I'm glad I got my hands on this one too and then I'm going to be moving on to eyeshadow and I love the color pop eyeshadows except for one eyeshadow it's not pigmented at all so I was disappointed about that but the first color that I'm going to show you guys is this gorgeous 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 like brown kind of golden color <laughs> this one's super pigmented so i love this one and this is in the color blaze so i'm really glad i got this color and then the next color i got was in fringe and i saw nikki tutorials using this on one of her makeup looks i forget which one it was but i thought it was absolutely gorgeous so i had to pick it up and it is the most pigmented like color ever like do you see how like reflective that is like this is how it looks like on your eyes like the light like like that is so pretty and like I love using this in my inner corners like it will literally bring out a look like I will put them on like right now do you see like how pigmented that is and like how gorgeous that is I'm really excited to like use this on my eyelid so the lighting is kind of going down so I'm sorry about that Fringe is like one of my favorite, my, one of my, probably my second favorite thing I got from ColourPop because it's such an intense color, so I love that. And then the next color I got was the one that's not pigmented at all. It's in Nillionaire. It's in Nillionaire and it's just like this brown, really shimmery. It's basically just sparkles with a tint of brown. It's not pigmented, so I don't really like it. I don't know if it was just the one I got, but I'm not a fan. So, I got some stuff from Morphe and this is probably what I was most excited about because I've heard a lot about Morphe and I've always wanted to try out their products and I finally did. But the first thing I got was the seven piece rose gold set. So the first one I'm not a fan of honestly. Um, I still use it but it's just like a powder brush but it does shed a lot so that's why I'm not a fan of it that much and it doesn't really pick up the product that well. But this is the only brush in the whole thing that I didn't exactly love. But the next one I got was this. I use this for my contour, but it's like a blush contour brush. And I absolutely love this brush. It picks up so much product and it blends it out really well. And this is one of my favorites. And then the next brush that there was is just like this crease brush. And this picks up color really well, blends it out really well. Super precise on where you want it to go. So, A plus for this brush. 
And then the next one is actually one of my favorites and this is just a foundation brush. And I've been using this more than I've been using my Beauty Blender because it really just blends it out super easily, really fast. And it doesn't leave too many like brush marks. And if it does, I'll just go over my Beauty Blender just a little bit. So I really love this brush. And then it just came with a flat um, like eyeshadow brush. I really like this one too. It's just, I don't know, nothing special, but I really like it. And then the next one I came with was like this slanted crease brush. I usually just use this to blend out my colors. So I really like that. And then this is also one of my favorites and one of the colors I was, mo I mean, one of the brushes I was most excited about is this little pencil brush. And I love using this like underneath my eye, um, my lash line and to like put color underneath there because I, ha I don't really have a brush to really put that those colors on with. So I've been getting a lot of use out of this. And then the next thing I got from Morphe is the thing I'm the most excited about, the thing I've been using the most, I'm wearing it right now on my eyes, and you guys could probably guess who, but it is, it is the Morphe 350 palette, or 350, I'm not really sure, and yes, I was so excited to get this in the mail, and I am in love with it, I think it is the most beautiful palette I own, and this is what it looks like, it comes with all these beautiful colors, it's like really perfect for like the fall especially and just like any like warm color, any warm looks you want to do. I've been using this so much. Oh my god. And for the price, this was only like maybe $30 with tax. Do you see how like beautiful and pigmented these colors are? Like they're so easy to blend. They're so pigmented. I absolutely love this palette and I will definitely be picking up some more palettes from Morphe and I really want to try their face palette so I'm very excited about that. So the next thing I got was a Kylie lipstick and I wasn't going to get anything from Kylie's Kylie Cosmetics because I think it's just kind of expensive for like one product but um, it was free shipping and I was like I might as well like I wanted to try it but I just didn't want to like branch out and like pay that much for it. So, but since it was free shipping, I was like, why not? So I got Dual CK. I just got the single because I don't really use lip liners that much, so I didn't think I needed it. But it's just like this really, really pretty, like warm, like peachy color. I, it's a lot more darker than I thought, and it's a lot more brown than I thought. So it kind of looks like the color that I'm wearing right now when it is on your lips, but it's <laughs> just a little bit lighter. But I absolutely love this, and I'm really happy I purchased it. And it smells really good too, which is a plus. So I love that. And that is everything I got in this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment what you guys want to see from me, what you thought about this video, or if you want to see anything like with what I got, any tutorials or something. And don't forget to subscribe. It would make me really happy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed.